Our Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. Our Lord is good. That's why we're here because it's always good. I still worship again. The song says, Lord, you are so good.
Amen. Not because we love Pastor Abanishe. Amen. Because we love Jesus. And we will show the love of Jesus to people. Amen. They see Jesus in you. Amen. Amen. There was a song in my heart. He said, that, let the world see Jesus in your hearts. Amen. Amen. So that they cannot deny that they have not seen Jesus on earth. Praise God. I'm going to rise up. I want us to open our Bible. I want to thank God for the ministers of God, all the pastors in the house, and Father and the Lord from Nigeria. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much. And my bishop, I welcome you. And the pastor that God is using for this parish, God bless you. And Mama, thank you for standing by him. Without you, there is no new coming. Amen. Thank God for God. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible to the book of Psalm, Psalm 67. You know, I love doing a new thing. I love to be involved in doing a new thing. I thank God that this parish there are three years today of the story. Amen. So I'm going to be in the history of this very new what God is doing in cutting. And we have a lot. And I pray that we will not lose it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I will smile in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Psalms 67, verse 1. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his feet to shine upon us. Sarah. Hallelujah. People they ask me, say, where did the Amen. Amen. I want us to thank God again. 
today is Sunday, 19th of April. Lord, I thank you for being here today. And I thank God for my family. Thank God for your brothers and your sisters. And thank God for the pastor of this church. The Lord, I thank you for making me know. Thank you for your life. You give me favor. Favor me around. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. There is no one like you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, I exalt you. Lord, I exalt you. There is no one like you. That is no one has that can never be anyone else. You are great, you are great. If this church name was good, Amen. Choir based and cover face. We're going to just sing, then I will leave this stage. Hallelujah. Amen. Do we love God at all? Do we love God? Can we just clap, clap off for him?
Yeah. 
thank you this morning. Please let's together in your presence we say thank you. For day one we say thank you. He said on the second day, he said I will revive them. I will revive them. And said on the third day, I will raise them all. And on the fourth day, I will do a new thing. Father, thank you because this is the day of new thing. Thank you because you will create a new thing in the life of your people. And it shall spring forth. Myself available as somebody who knows nothing, but only spirit that knows all things, speak through me to your people. Amen. Bless them with a time like this. Amen. I will speak the word of faith and let the spirit of faith talk on them. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, we give your praise. Jesus, precious name. Amen. Jesus, precious name. Amen. This first minute is not part of my time. That is not part of my time. Can we pray after that? Hallelujah. I'd like to appreciate God one more time. Who brought me to this place, safe and sound, and who is doing great work in the life of these people here. You are a living testimony. I'd like to appreciate God for his servant on this Monday and the wife of the family. I also like to appreciate God my father. Who God has used, whose shoulder I'll be able to climb, and I can say, Father, that I meet. Hallelujah. I'd like to appreciate someone here, and it's nobody but you. Put your hand up yourself. We here this morning will be speaking about on a topic that is very crucial in the kingdom. I take my part from Dennis Revelation, and I discover. They can never be any subject, and there has never been any subject that is as powerful as the subject we are going to talk about now. There has never been any subject, there will never be any subject that will be as important and as important as the subject of faith. By the help of the Holy Spirit, with a personal encounter with God, I will be describing all the spirit, I will be describing the faith, something of faith, in a quite different manner. Probably from what I've never had before. And if I had it before, good. What is faith? I like someone to be faithful. Good. What is faith? Faith is a translator. Faith 
is a translator. When we are talking about the word translating, that is to metamorphose from one state to another state. Faith is a translator. And what does faith translate? And what takes about translation when we are talking about faith? Follow me carefully. Please, don't be shocked. But let me tell you the truth. Things don't happen to God because God is God. Things happen to God because He operates by the law of faith. Write it down. Things don't happen to God because God is God. Things happen to God because He operates by the law of faith. You are not hearing me? It is not that because God is God that why everything is possible. No. Are you hearing me now? Things are happening to God and things are happening for God because God operates the law of faith. And what covers heaven and the heart is nothing but the law of faith. Hello. You will agree with me in the book of Mark chapter 9 verse 23. Is there anybody here? Mark 9 23 and Mark 9 27. Mark 9 23 and Mark 9 27. Are you there? Are Mark 9 23 and Mark 9 27. I like some of me. Mark 9 23. Yes. Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible. To him who believes. Okay, please, can you read Mark 10 27? Praise the Lord. Jesus said to men that with God all things are possible, but with men this is not possible. I mean, I'm not preaching, I'm teaching. With men this is impossible, but it is only possible with God. That's what he just said. We are there. As human beings, there are certain things that are not possible with us. There are certain things that are not possible for us. But the Bible says, not with God, because with God, all things are possible. I, I told you I didn't go to school, but I know what all is. When we say all, it means all. That is to say, there is nothing outside all. With God, all things are possible. But with women being with men, some things are not possible. Maybe you have not taken the concentration from the Bible where God said, It is easier for a camel to pass through the eyes of the needle. Have you read the Bible before? Alright, how many know what we call needle? How many know needle? You know needle. Oh, who's the fashion seller here? Fashion designer, a tailor. At least everybody knows me. Alright. Needle was created for trade. Am I right? But it is not easy for trade to pack in the eyes of the needle, but it is possible. Hello? It, no, it is not easy for a trade to pass through the eyes of the needle, but it is possible. So it is not easy for it is possible. We agree. Because it takes tough time for you to be able to, to yeah, for you try to pass through the eyes of the needle. But here what your God says, He says with men, it is possible for a carry to pass through the eyes of the needle. And he said it is not only possible, it is easier. You really understand? You really understand? What it means, I was in I was in Dubai many years, some years ago. And I discover the size of a camel is as tall as this. That when you're part of a camel, for it to come down from the camel, the camel must lead down. If camel doesn't lead down, it can't come down. So that is how big camel is. I can't count how many numbers of people will make up a camel. How much more the height of a needle. And here is what your God said. He said, it is easier for me, for a camel, to pass through the 
size of a little, whether that your issue is too easy. Sir, for a man to conceive a bad child, it is too easy. But I think that's the law. For a desert to produce water, it is too easy. For a foreigner to become landlord in a foreign land, it is too easy. For you to live without mortgage, it is too easy. For someone to call you to come and help, to come and help his estate that he has worked for in his lifetime, I said it is too easy. Yeah. I like your faith to begin to clinch now. Because God is going to take you on a journey that you will never recover. Because what will be happening here now is that it will be translated. Amen. That is my job here, yeah, to get you translated. Amen. This is what faith does. I remember when you sent the invitation, when you did poster that is coming to swing it up, and it's like, they have never been this at all. They have never been this at He had never, he had not even said it this letter, and he was saying, come to Europe to call a minister. A man who had never been to Europe before, who had no officer. But with faith, he just knew, and he realized, he knew it was, and I was telling him, sir, to get the officer is not easy. And he said, don't worry, it is easy. Is it not easy now? Faith is calling those things that people are still there. You don't understand faith. Faith is riding a kind of no board. Faith is living in one room and begin to live as you are living in the next place. Faith is not having a husband yet and yet buying children materials. Come on, baby, hear me. You have not gotten a sutra proposed to you and you have bought your wedding gown. Faith is that you are, they are still telling you that you can stay in this land and you are telling them where are the rich people stay here. That is what you I'm not around, you will remember my picture. My sister came out 
Oh! 